In this video, I'm going to show you how to get PayPal working with card flows for one-click upsells, but we also have a two-click upsell option that's going to be available to you. So let's first go over the requirements in order to get this working. So you are going to want to have a PayPal business account. There's a standard PayPal account, but the requirement of a standard PayPal account is that when someone's on your website trying to make a purchase, it actually forces you to send them over to PayPal's website. And we're trying to reduce friction and leave the buyer on our website. So you're gonna need a PayPal business account. There's no cost to get a PayPal business account. There's no ongoing monthly fees to get a PayPal business account either. All you have to do is just switch your account to a PayPal business account. Now there's something called reference transactions. And I'm here to let you know that this is optional. So when you get your PayPal business account, by default it will not have reference transactions enabled. And for some people, it has been a challenge to get this enabled. You have to pick up the phone and call PayPal. You have to ask them to enable it and they do some background checks on you. It's nothing so invasive, but they're gonna ask you a few questions. They have an automated system to check up on you. And then they'll let you know a couple days later via email if you have been approved for it or not. And depending on the country that you're in, if they have a difficult time verifying your identity, they will not approve you for reference transactions. And this has been a pain point for people that use PayPal and want to use one-click upsells. Now, I'm here to let you know it is optional. Card flows will be able to allow you to use PayPal for upsells regardless of having reference transactions enabled or not. It's gonna be the difference between a one-click upsell and a two-click upsell. You are going to need to use the official PayPal checkout gateway for WooCommerce. When you install WooCommerce, it comes with a PayPal gateway for PayPal standard, but remember, we're not using PayPal standard, we're using PayPal business so that we could leave the buyer on our website when they're making their purchase. And the last requirement is, or well actually it's not a requirement, you're gonna have this option. If you did get reference transactions enabled, you're gonna be able to offer a one-click upsell. And if you don't, you're gonna have a two-click upsell. And what's gonna happen is, when your buyer is on that upsell page and they say, yes, I want it, they're just gonna get a PayPal pop-up. They're already gonna be logged in and they have to click on confirm. Now I'm gonna demonstrate that in this video for you. So let's go ahead and jump on into the WordPress site here and see what this is going to be like. So with cart flows, there's a setting if you do have that PayPal business account with reference transactions, just let cart flows know that by going to cart flows and clicking on settings. And here's the option, enable PayPal reference transactions. This is if you know that you have it enabled and authorized on your account. But this video is more to show you what it's like, the buyer's flow, when you do not have reference transactions enabled. So here is the payment gateway that you're gonna need. You could go to plugins, add new, just do a search for PayPal and it's gonna be that first one. It's WooCommerce PayPal Checkout Payment Gateway. That's quite a title for a plugin. It's the official WooCommerce plugin and it's free. So you're gonna to wanna to activate that and connect it in with your PayPal API keys. So with all of that done, let me show you the flow that I have set up. It's right here and it's a four step flow, but we're gonna jump in right here on the checkout page. Now, PayPal doesn't have a, since this is not a physical product, they don't need the buyer's address, and PayPal doesn't require me to get the zip code like I am required to with Stripe. So literally, this right here is what the checkout page looks like. I'm just asking for the first name, last name, and the email address. Let me show you how easy that is. I've totally stripped this down to all the essentials. So if I go into my checkout form and click on checkout fields, you can see I've hidden all of these fields because I just don't need them for this transaction because it's gonna be a digital product. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this URL, visit in an incognito window, and we'll go through the purchase without reference transactions enabled. Okay, so here I am, and there's an order bump. 
I'm going to click on this box because who wouldn't take an audiobook for only $7 more? So now my total is going to be $34. That's for my ebook and the audiobook version. Here is the PayPal button. I'll go ahead and click on that. And you see, I get the pop up. I'm still on my website. And this just prompts me to log into PayPal. Okay, I've entered my password. I'll click on login and it's going to switch to give me the option that I have in my PayPal account to choose my payment method. Now I'm going to choose the balance and I'm going to click on pay now and it's going to process, send me back to my website and it's going to take me straight over to my upsell. Now this is a course that I have 50% off instead of $194, it's only $97. So Keep this in mind, I do not have reference transactions enabled. This is what happens when your buyer goes through it. I'm gonna click on add to my order and I'm still on my website. I get that pop up again, but check this out because I just logged in, I'm still logged in and all I have to do is click one extra button in order to complete this purchase. So I'm gonna scroll down again, I'm gonna click on continue. It adds that automatically to my order. It sends me back to the website and here I am on my thank you page. Oops, it looks like I forgot to change the price on my course. That's why we test things around here. But you can see here on the thank you page, I have purchased my ebook, my audiobook, and that online course. Now, just because it's gonna drive me nuts, I'm gonna go back to my products and I'm gonna see here's that course. And yes, I forgot to change the price. I sold it for $7 when I intended on selling it for $97. But the point was I wanted to show you how easy it is to start offering two click upsells instead of one click upsells using PayPal business accounts without reference transactions enabled. You saw how easy it was to get going and now you'll be able to offer two click upsells to your buyers using PayPal. Hey, thanks for watching this video tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.